Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. I've been an online reseller since 2002 and this is my sidekick Nova and regardless of what she tells you this is not a Tiger King situation. She does actually want to be here. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about my plush and toy sales from April. I had approximately $1,700 in sales in April just from selling stuffed animals and toys. That, that's it. And I'm just a part-time reseller and I just wanted to show you some of these things that you can look out for as you're out thrifting and sourcing. Okay, most of my stuffed animals I pay between $1 and $3 for. So I'm not going to mention the prices for everything unless it was some kind of exceptional price that I paid for them. Because that's just going to get really redundant for me to say I paid a dollar for this, I paid $2 for that. So just pretty much assume I paid $1 to $3 for almost everything that you see here. Okay, so our first item is this McRae's Mac the Moose plush stuffed animal. And this one had, had a tag. So anytime you see a tag, you want to look him up. And McRae's is a defunct department store. I, don't, I really don't think they're, they're active anymore. And so this is the tag. And this is a pretty good sized stuffed animal. This one sold in, in a few weeks. Okay, my next one here is this Thai Pluffy's Brown Bear. Slumber Bear 2002. If you don't know the name of a stuffed animal, usually you can just put in what it is and the year that it was from. Like this one here says on the tush tag from 2002 and I was able to find other ones so I could figure out the name. Now this one only sold for $15 but he sold in a few days. My next one is this Disney Parks Donald Duck Halloween plush and this one I think I paid four dollars for uh, He was just an unusual character any kind of unusual characters I, I always look up now if this is just a plain Donald Duck I Probably wouldn't have looked him up at all because those are just super common, but this one here sold for forty nine dollars and eighty eight cents My next one here is this little beginnings Sherpa lovey this one sold for $14.88 and I look up any any lovey that I, that I can find because kids lose their loveys all the time. My last video is on loveys. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link down below so you can watch that. This is a Tom's Toys Lamb stuffed animal. This one sold for $45, believe it or not. I'd never heard of this brand, Tom's Toys. I don't know if this is a Bolo brand, but this just looked like something a little kid would have because he was super soft and really cute possibly given as an Easter gift originally and this one is a Carter sweetheart bunny rabbit and it has a rattle inside so I put that in my my title because someone that is looking for this certain plush might know it was just a Carter's bunny rabbit and it rattled so I just want to use good keywords when you're listing this one sold for only $14.88. I think I got this one out of a bag of plush that I paid a few dollars for. So not, not a huge sale, but this was a small plush. Didn't take up much room. There you go. Okay, I bought a big lot of American Girl doll clothes at the thrift store. I think I paid, I don't know, five, six dollars for this, I don't know, box like this big of doll clothes. And so I went through them. I didn't look them up at the time when I was at the thrift store. But I went through them when I got home. And this is one of the outfits that was in there. And it was kind of a pain, I'm going to be honest, to look up what exactly these outfits were and what doll they went to. But it's really, really worth it. As you can see, I got $60 for this. This was American Girl Julie's Floral Jumpsuit. And it had this uh, turtleneck and the belt. And the belt was a little messed up. It's the vinyl was coming apart, but if it was in perfect condition, I probably would have got a little more, but this one sold in a, in a few weeks. My next one here is this vintage Garfield and Pookie plush from, from Dakin, 1981. This one is so, so cute. Garfield just likes, he's really loving on his Pookie there, just like this, Ooh, so cute. This one I sold for $50, and I think this was sold in a matter of days. And whenever I'm taking pictures, I always take a picture of the tag and the copyright so the buyer can get that kind of information. Okay, my next one here is probably the highest price plush sale I've had maybe ever. This is a rare Funko 
Five Night at Freddy's Golden Bear from 2016. Now, Funko is um, a popular brand, you know, of the Funko Pop um, everybody loves. And they also do make plush. Okay. This guy I paid $6 for at a consignment sale. And he sold in probably about a month for $175. I mean, that's, uh, and the return on that is just amazing. Okay, this next one here is Huey um, from uh, DuckTales. Uh, this one sold for $40. And if you have ever see any DuckTales plush, look him up. I had several people that were looking for the other nephews. Unfortunately, this is the only one I was able to find at the consignment sale. Uh, but he sold for $40 in, I don't know, like a week or two. Really, really quick. Okay, this next one here I sold just to the other day was this Aurora Baby uh, sheep with the blue satin feet. I couldn't find a cot for him, so I just kind of made up a price based on previous solds and um, what was available for similar type items. This was a very small plush, as you can see. This one would fit in your hand. It was so tiny. But somebody paid $68.88 for this tiny, tiny plush. It is so cute, but, you know, children, they love these. They lost it. It's gone. Mom, Dad needs it. Here it is. I got it for you. Disney villain? Disney hero? I don't know. Call it what you want. I got it. Okay, this next one here is this Beast Build-A-Bear plush. I always look up pretty much any Build-A-Bear unless it's like a super, super plain brown bear or something like that. But this one here has his entire outfit, including the rose. And he was in excellent condition. And that one sold for $67. All right, my next one here is this Chucky Child's Play stuffed animal. And I sold this one for $15, but it sold right away on Facebook Marketplace. And if you guys aren't selling on Facebook Marketplace, I highly, highly recommend it. The things that I sell on there are really crazy, and they usually sell pretty quick. There's less competition, I think, than eBay. And people are on Facebook anyway, so they are shopping. So, so try it out if you haven't already. This one is a uh, Tasmanian Devil Looney Tunes baby stuffed animal. I got this one on the side of the road in a bag of stuffed animals I picked up a few weeks ago. This one sold in like, like two days, again, on Facebook Marketplace. I had it originally listed for $25, but someone messaged me and asked if I would take less, $20, and it was free, free money to me, so 100%, yeah, I'd take it. And this one is uh, Play School My Buddy Doll. Um, <laughs> this one here, when I, when I got him, uh, he was pretty well stained. So I soaked him from the top down in some OxyClean so I can get out most of his stains. Um, but he still had a few stains on the bottom of his feet, and I did disclose that in my description. This particular combination with the plaid and the hat and the blonde hair was a, a more rare combination. So he sold for $45, and he, he does have a, a hole in his neck, and I'm not sure if he was a smoker or what happened there, but I did disclose that also. Uh, honestly, I think there was probably a grommet that held his, his turtleneck to his body, possibly. Anyways, he sold him 45, for $45, again, on Facebook Marketplace. Now, this is a, a Folk Tales by Folk Manus po Turtle Puppet. And he sold for 15 not, not a big profit on him. I do look up any puppets that I see. Some of them are worth more than others. And this one just, you know, wasn't worth that much. But, you know, that's okay. Now, this is a Carter's Just One U Fox Security Blanket Levy. And he sold for $20. And, again, just look up any levy that you see. This is a Monster High Dawn of the Dance Claudine Wolf doll, and she was missing her arms. Otherwise, she would have been worth more, and plus her, she did some splits, and she had a hole in her crotch, or maybe something else. Maybe she was doing something in the red light district. I don't know. I don't know. But she sold for $14, and I think I probably paid like a dollar for her total. She came in a bag of Monster High dolls, and I separated them out. 
Now this is a Blaze and the Monsters Machine transforming jet truck. When you pick this guy up, his wings popped out so he looked like he was flying. So to, to show that in the pictures, I put a box underneath here so it, you could see that he was a transforming truck and not just rent any other, you know, truck. Okay, so I showed all the angles with the truck here and then I put him flat on the ground to show him without his wings flying. And that one sold for $28.88. This is a sealed Seen It Nickelodeon game. It sold for $25. And I look up any, any sealed games, any sealed puzzles. Okay, I, I labeled this one wrong. This is actually Batman Mr. Freeze. I don't know what happened here with this title. But he sold for $37.88, which is about what he would have sold for if I would have labeled him correctly. But this is the, uh, the little figurine, and then he fits inside. So I wanted to show all the different ways you can play with this, this toy here. And I always... I don't know, this one didn't get rotated. That's okay. I always have my tape measure in my photos. People know how big these things are. This is a Lego Movie 2 set. Brand new seal for $68.88. I probably paid, I don't know, $10, $12 for this. And I think I was originally going to give this to my kids, but they're kind of not into Lego so much anymore. It's just a basic, you know, more basic set. Not that exciting to them. So I, I sold it on eBay. I took it out of the present pile, and here it is, $68.88. Okay, this is from the American Girl doll set, and this is just a pajama for $25, just this plain little sleeper, really cute, silver $25. Okay, this is the Monster High Vampire Sea Monster dolls, and this set sold for $34 on offer for just these two dolls here, and I, I again, I probably paid $2 for, for the set that came out of a bag of Monster High dolls. Okay, this is an American Girl Addy striped dress. And this was actually on the American Girl Josephina doll that I had purchased. And just this dress sold on offer of $55 for just this doll dress. I don't, I don't even own clothes that are worth $55. And this shirt came from Old Navy. I think I paid $3 for it. I, somebody's paying $55 for doll dresses. Good for them because I'm happy. Okay, this is another side of the road sign. This is a Mars M&M candy vending machine bank. It's a really cool just toy bank that you can fill with your own candy and this sold this one probably took like two months to sell but it sold for $57 okay, this is a nerf blaster uh, that I sold for $28 I think I probably paid like $5 for this at a discount store brand new sealed This is a Lego Duplo train track set. It had the box, but it was missing a few pieces that, as noted on the box. I actually bought it at the thrift store, marked out like that. But it's it sold for $25. And my last item here is this Fisher Price ice cream uh, game. It was complete, looked, looked really good, other than the carton on the outside. But it sold for $35 for, for this really cute game. I would have loved to have this as a kid. Okay, this is a Disney Moana Hey Hey Screaming Toy Plush. This one only sold for $18. He didn't work when I got him home properly. He only stood in this one position and he did scream. It was a very extremely annoying scream. Uh, but he was supposed to animate and walk more. So I did disclose that in description. So he only sold for $18. If he would have worked properly, he probably would have sold for $40 or $50, so definitely still keep a lookout for these if you ever see them in the store. This next one here is another Five Night at Freddy's Funko Plush, and this one had it, had its tag. It only sold for $65. It's not as rare as the, the Golden Bear from earlier in my video. But $65, again, I think I paid $6 for this one at a consignment sale, but an amazing profit, so I was willing to pay up for this, for this guy. This is a Hallmark Jingle Plush. I see these quite often and they are e extremely good sellers. This one sold for $25 and he worked great. 
if you can find the books that go with them, he, he's worth even more. There's also a female version of this uh, called Bella. Uh, and there's also a book that goes with Bella. And that one is worth more than Jingle because she just, uh, there weren't as many made, made of the, the uh, Bella version. This is another lovey. This is a vintage Disney Winnie the Pooh lovey. And this was sold for $60. I think this is probably from the 80s. Judging by you know, the look of his face and the material, it was more of like a fleece fabric. He wasn't like the soft minky that's that's popular right now. This one sold for sixty dollars. Probably sold it in, in about in about a month. So keep keep an eye out for anything that looks odd, rare, vintage, especially loveys. Always with the loveys. Okay, this is a Tamagotchi beanbag plush. He sold overnight for twenty four dollars. He's a, a little a little small a small guy here as you can see he's only five inches tall but twenty four dollars for this tiny thing I think I paid a, a dollar for him or something at a thrift store and for for those of you that don't know what tamagotchis were they are original like these little pocket pet that you'd have on like a keychain like a little digital the digital game that you could play you know, instead of like a Game Boy or something like that, you know, more boring, basically. This is this is before, you know, smartphones, but those, those are the things we used to play, little little Tamagotchi game. Uh, look it up. I'm describing it wrong, but look it up. This is a little character from that. So if you're north of 30, you know what this is. If you're south, just, just look it up. Because this is here is a Thai plush rescue St. Bernard. Again, I looked up his name. His name was Rescue. And this one sold for $45 in a few days. And I got a really sweet note from the girl that bought this. She was looking for this exact one. And she was just so excited that, that I had it. And she was able to find it. This one here is the Thai Slush Husky Dog Puppy Plush. This one sold for $45. And when I found him, he had his, his tag up here. But he was super, super dirty. And I wasn't able to spot clean him. So I soaked him in some OxyClean, and he came out really, really nice looking. So he's from 2009, and he sold for $45. Here's another Thai stuffed animal. This is a Pluffy, and the Pluffies uh, are more like a microfiber fabric. And this one had his tag on it, but I didn't list him as new. As you can see, this tag is really wrinkled, and the actual graphic from, from the Tide logo is missing. This one here is called Puppers. And look at his little eyebrows. I thought those, the eyebrows are super funny and expressive. So cute, so cute. And that one sold for $40. Okay, this is a PBC International Singing Plush. When you played it, uh, he sang uh, In the Jungle. And the, the lion and the hippo moved on this guy, but the monkey did not, and I disclosed that in the description. Also, when you guys are selling these things, take a video of them working. Now, on Mercari and some other platforms, you can't upload videos, but you will have that for your reference. For example, like on this item, the buyer paid for this and they got it and they said it did not work. But, well, I had a video, a proof that this thing actually worked. Now... They never ended up returning it in the end, so the return just got closed out. But if something would have happened and they would have progressed it further, I had proof that this actually worked. So, anyways, anytime you have an animated or singing plush, take video for reference so, you, so again, you know it works. But $53 for this animated plush. $53. This is a Toys R Us light up blue teddy bear and on my front photo and i've said this before if it's something that lights up or something that does something and you can show it in a static photo show it otherwise with with the lights off you just look like a plain teddy bear but if somebody's looking for the light up bear, oh well there, there it is they they can see that this is a light up bear okay so this one sold for fifty dollars on offer uh, Toys R Us, I pick up anything that says Toys R Us. You know it's old. You know it's gone. You know someone's looking for it. Look it up. It's another Thai Pluffies. This one is Barker's, and he sold for $45. And he's from 2012. This is a Vera Bradley Baby Bunny Rabbit Lovey. Lovey, lovey, whatever you want to call it. 
And Vera Bradley is really easy to spot. She has these colorful paisley style prints. And this one's on the ears and around the edges. And there's the tag there. This one took a while to sell. I don't know why it took so long to sell. It sold for $51. I only paid a quarter for this at a yard sale. So who cares how long I had it. All right, and here's my last one here. This is a vintage Fairview pink bunny rabbit plush. This was another side of the road find, and I think this one sold overnight for $55. This particular color brand, I don't know, highly sought after. It was originally from Kmart, I found out. Uh, but $55, that was just sitting on the side of the road. So, there you have it. All right, that's my... <laughs> She sees a cat. <clears throat> Alright, that's my video, friends. I hope you've learned something new here. Do you sell stuffed animals and toys? If you do, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you like to sell. Tell me some of your sales from this last month. About $1,700 in sales just from these stuffed animals and toys. I do sell other things. I sell pretty much anything that makes money. If you want to follow me, I am on Instagram. And I'll leave my link down below. Alright, bye!